Tracy talked a little bit about the women that helped her when she was angry and daring God or challenging God. Was there a pivot point in your life that made made it all of a sudden make sense and you could really accelerate down the path you're on? Yes, there was a defining moment in my life when me and Tracy came to St. Louis together, boyfriend and girlfriend, and we're shacking up and living together. And she woke up one morning, and she had been studying the words. She woke up one morning and says, I'm not doing this anymore. We're not having sex anymore. And I said, what? And she said, we're not having sex anymore. I'm done. I need to try to live right. And that was a defining moment in my life, and I left St. Louis for a while and went on my own journey for six months and went into a consecration with just me and God. And I got there with God on the bed in my sister's house in her apartment with her three kids in two bedrooms, eight-time All-Star, four-time World Series champ, stripped with nothing. And I got on my knees, and God said, don't open the Bible. I just laid there. And he says, I've been waiting for you. And I just cried. Wow. And that's when I went back and rededicated my life, and I stopped everything. and went to church three to four times out of the week just being around the church helping and got involved and got restored inside as a whole person and started doing things a different way. Wow, that's a powerful statement. And uh, I, you know what? It takes a very strong woman to, to draw that line, and it takes a, a pretty, you know, did you ever think it, you, were, you were doing the wrong thing, Daryl? Did you ever say, I can't do this, I can't, I can't, or did it just well, happen? Well, as many times I've said that, but when, when Tracy had told me that, that took a, that's a real stand there, and I realized that was a real stand because I know I loved her. I know she took her incredible stand, cut it off. And, and that right there made me open my eyes and look at myself and realize I need to get myself together.